Hey, what's up guys? See boys Pilot 2K7 back with another Grand Auto 5 video. Today we are back with the Department of Transportation. We got the emergency response message board trucks out here. And we actually got a report of somebody hanging from one of these um, highway signs like this sign right up here to our right. So we're gonna go check that out and see what's going on. Not sure if they're trying to like commit suicide or something like that. Uh, police are also in route, so We'll see if police gets there before us or if we'll get there before police. So we got our partner here. Let's go ahead and get going. All right, guys. So if you guys are brand new to this series with the uh, message board trucks that we have been using, it has been designed by PNW Parks fan. It also comes with a match and plug in as well, which lets you fully customize the message board, which is pretty awesome. So we go ahead and put the board down, put the board up. We could change the messages. We could also do custom messages as well. And we could also control the lights. We control which colors we want on. So we could turn off the red, turn the red back on, and also control our siren. And if we want traffic to move out of the way or not. So it's a very cool mod. It's called Variable Message Systems or um, VMS Plus for short. And if you guys do enjoy this video, definitely make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys want to check this mod out for yourself definitely join the parks benefactor program it is linked down below in the video description that way you can get early access to this mod since it's still in beta all right guys so let's go ahead and respond to this call now guys i'm gonna go ahead and put the board down first go ahead and close that out and let's get ready to roll all right guys so we are rolling out to the call it should be right over here on the uh del perro freeway so again, we got a report of a person hanging off of a traffic sign. Not sure if it's possibly a suicide jumper or something like that. So we'll try to get to the scene as soon as we can. All right, we got the traffic build. Oh, shit, I see the person hanging, guys. I see the person hanging. All right, so we're on scene here. And you know what, guys? Oh my god, there's an accident involved, too. We didn't get a report of an accident. And we only got a report of a person hanging. Alright. So traffic is already backed up. People are, like, freaking out here. I think this is the guy that called for help. Alright. Let's get our message board up first. So we can just let everybody know. Just slow down and be careful. We're going to have to close down this left lane here as well. So let's do left lane close. It looks like we have an accident here. Let's also... Make sure we get police here. We're going to probably need fire and rescue as well. Because this looks like a pretty severe accident here. Alright, so as far as the lady hanging, I don't think that's a real person, guys. But we got two real people over here we got to attend to. Sir, you okay? You okay? Okay, don't move. Fire and rescue will be here in a second to get you out, okay? Let's uh, see what's up with the Ma'am, you okay up there? You okay? All right, try not to move, okay? Fire and rescue will be here soon. They're going to get you guys out. Just try not to move, okay? I don't really want to touch anything. I don't want anything to, like, get worse and fall and anybody to get hurt. So we're going to wait for the fire department to get on scene and take care of this here. So what I'm guessing is um, a lot of people didn't realize that this is a advertisement. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at it really quickly. So yeah, it's like a candy adver advertisement is pretty much showing this lady trying to get the candy box. But this isn't really the best type of advertiser because people think it's real. And as you guys see, people are calling it into the police. They're calling 911. This, uh, this lady, apparently she swerved out of the way so she won't hit the person falling. And then she ended up hitting the, uh, the pole there. And then the car behind her was too close. He couldn't stop and he just jumped on top of her with his truck. So... These type of adver advertisements are not a good idea. I think we're going to have to take this down here because, as you can see, it's causing a lot of confusion. And a funny thing, in the last video we did with the flood mod, when we had the flood down there, I got so many comments talking about this uh, lady. They were like, Ace, did you not see the lady hanging? So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to do this video to show you guys that the lady is not real, as you can see. But anyway, let's deal with these real people over here. Let's get this second message board truck into position here. All right, I'm going to get the second truck into position. We're going to move out the way. I think we're only, well, let's shut down two lanes for now. 
so we can give the fire department some room to work with. So let's set his truck up like probably right here. And let's just do arrows on his. So we will do right arrows for now. And we're still waiting for the fire department to get here. They should be here any second now. Hopefully everybody's going to be okay here. And we're going to try to get traffic moving as well. So for now, guys, let's just go ahead and wait for a fire and rescue to get on scene. We're going to need EMS and we're also going to need police on scene as well. So we're just going to be standing by and waiting. As we're waiting, let's see if we could talk and see what's going on. Ma'am, are you okay? Were you involved in an accident? No, you weren't? Oh, you saw everything that happened. Okay, so the red car swerved out the way. And then the blue car, he was following too close and they just hit him. Okay, perfect. Let's see what this guy's story is. Hey, sir, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, you're just a little bit shaken up. It's okay. Did you get injured? Okay. All right, well. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so basically he's saying that he's the one that called 911. All right, thank you for calling 911. We appreciate that, sir. All right, so let's go ahead and call dispatch again. We're still waiting on police to get here. They're kind of taking a long time. So we need police and fire to get here. So let's just go ahead and call it in again. We have an ambulance call in uh, Little Soul. Backup required on uh, Del Perro Freeway. All right, guys, so I hear the fire truck coming. I think I hear police as well. A uh, fire truck is en route. Okay, so we have a fire um, truck in route. Ambulance responding code three. And we also got an ambulance responding. But I think police are responding as well. So let's just stand by and wait for them to get on the scene here. Okay, here comes the ambulance coming through. So we're gonna also put down some cones as well, but I wanna just make sure we get the first responders on scene first, and then I'll work on getting down the cones. All right, here's our ambulance pulling up, and there goes our fire truck arriving on scene as well. It's gonna be okay. All right, guys, so EMS is working on the lady and the guy over here. Let's see if they're gonna be okay. Police also are on scene, and fire and rescues on scene as well. So let's see what happens. Hopefully, everybody's gonna be okay. But yeah, this advertisement is terrible. This no, advertisement. This oh no, come on. She was just okay. She was just talking. They didn't get here fast enough, guys. This is starting to get to me. Oh no. I think I think the person the family here is gonna have a lawsuit on their hand because honestly this accident was mainly caused by this stupid sign. So I think they're gonna be able to sue. I feel so bad for this lady, man. I feel so bad for her. Okay, they're gonna transport the guy. The guy in the red car made it. Uh, the lady unfortunately did not, so we're gonna have to get some RIPs for her. This is terrible here. This is terrible, guys. Alright, so we're gonna have to get a corner out here. We're gonna have to get a corner. Man, this is terrible. Alright, so they're loading up the guy. Um, we're gonna have to wait for a coroner to get out of here most likely and I'm sure police are gonna have to do their investigation so we're probably gonna be out here on scene for a little while guys but RIP to this young lady here all right let's uh, get this area set up we're gonna need some cones and stuff like that so let's work on that while we wait for the coroner to get here all right so that was so sad that she didn't make it guys so police are gonna be doing their report there um, I think they're holding the fire department for a little while just because they want their truck to just block the scene just in case car comes through and like hits the workers while they're working. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and get some cones down in the meantime. So let's go ahead and grab our cones and let's try to carefully put these things down. I think I'm going to start over here. That way I can see where I'm walking. So let's start placing the cones over here.
All right, we'll start with our first cone right there. We'll put one right there. All right, so I'm gonna just gradually try to get all of these cars to move over. Good so far. You gotta be kidding. Shit. Up. All right. So hopefully, once we get the cones down, traffic will kind of start getting around the scene properly. So that should be good there. And then we'll just put down a couple more just so they don't come back into the lane before, before we're ready for them to. Put one there. One there. And one there. All right, that should be good. All right, so we got our cones down. Looks like we placed them pretty good on our first try. Traffic is going around the cones. They're going around the scene. So everything's looking pretty good. If you guys are enjoying the episode, do me a favor. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And let me know if you guys want to see some more DLT uh, videos with the message board trucks. You guys have absolutely been enjoying them. This actually has been... These DLT videos have been my most viewed videos in the, like the past two weeks now. So thank you guys. Glad you guys are all enjoying these videos here. So all we got to really do now is just wait for Corner to get on scene. And uh, then we'll should be able to clear out of here. All right, guys. So the Corner just pulled up on scene. And they're going to be doing what they have to do there. We're also going to need some tow trucks as well. Let's see if maybe we could pull this car down and then we'll get some tow trucks out here to pick it up. I'm so sad she didn't make it, man. All right, so corner is going to go ahead and get out of here. All right, there they go. So let's see if we could possibly pull this thing down. All right, we'll just use this truck over here. Damn. Traffic is crazy right now, all this holiday traffic. Oops. All right, so what we're going to do... Let me see if my partner could go ahead and just attach our winch here. So let's just put him here so he can go ahead and attach it for us. And he's going to give us a signal when he wants us to back up. All right, so it looks like he got it attached, and it looks like he attached the wrong car. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so now we got it attached. So let's carefully try to back up without hitting these cones. There we go. All right, so we can put this back into position. The thing with these cones, the ones that I'm using at least, they have like this invisible box around them. So like if you hit them, it's like you're hitting a concrete wall, even though it looks like you're just hitting a cone. All right, so we've got all of these down. Let's see if we get some tow trucks out here. Dispatch requests and tow truck. Tow truck assistance required. All right, so we got one for this one. And let's see if we get another tow truck for this one here too. Dispatch requests and tow truck. Tow truck assistance required for one Lincoln 18 on a uh, Del Perro freeway. All right, guys, tow truck number one got the first one, and tow truck number two got the second one. 
So we should be pretty much ready to go here. Uh, fire is going to clear first, then police, and it will clear last once we're ready for the freeway to open up. Uh, anything else you need me to do, Sarge? Okay, we'll be standing by until you guys are done, okay? Alright, perfect. So we'll just wait until they are finished. Let's go ahead and get back into our vehicles. Well, we'll have to get back in, but we'll just wait over here for now. Alright guys, so it looks like we're going to be stuck here for a little while. Um, they did make the decision to take down the billboard, so we're going to have to wait until the billboard company gets the crew out here so they can take down that person because, like I said, it's pretty dangerous. They don't want any other accidents. Somebody died from this, so they're taking it extremely seriously. So, Good news is they're going to get it taken care of. Bad news is my partner and I are stuck here for the rest of the day, so... Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday or whatever day you're watching this. Have a great day. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Happy holidays as well. Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys in the next one.